During an episode of The Jetsons, a futuristic cartoon from the 60s, George Jetson gets up for work, hops into his car, and tells it where he wants it to go. Of course, his car can fly, but he doesn't have to worry about where he's going, how he's going to get there, what the speed limit is, or where the traffic jams are. All he has to do is get in his car and let it do the rest. Welcome to our presentation on intelligent vehicle highway systems. Although cars cannot fly yet, technology has made some sophisticated advances. Some believe that intelligent vehicle highway systems, or IVHS, is a technology of the future. We will show you that the future starts now. We will take a broad look at the following topics. First, we will look at the background of IVHS, the what, why, and where. Next, we will take a look at the different technologies and their intended purpose and benefits. Finally, we will present some information on the benefits that are being seen today, along with some serious concerns. Why do we need an IVHS? It will save time and money, but most importantly, it will increase safety. As you can see in this chart, according to U.S. Census Bureau data, as of 2009, there have been over 10.8 million car accidents a year. Every year, the number of motor vehicle accidents in the United States increases. Currently, we are over 34,000 deaths per year. As of 2010, it was reported that the cost of accidents was over $99 billion, or over $500 per licensed driver. IVHS is a global effort. The collaboration between government transportation agencies, private businesses, and academia is bearing fruit, not just in the USA, but around the world. The name of one of Europe's IVHS projects called Prometheus sums up nicely what the world is striving for. Program for European traffic with highest efficiency and unprecedented safety. Although technology has recently caught up to, or even surpass some parts of the IVHS concept, the idea is not new. As early as the 1950s, there have been visionaries that pictured automated highways. In 1992, with the advances in technology and a boost from the Federal Highway Administration's Automated Highway System Program, intelligent vehicle highway systems are becoming more realistic. A Dutch designer has a smart car, smart highway system currently being tested in the Netherlands. Google tested a driverless car, and the advances keep coming. These are the five integral parts to an intelligent vehicle highway system, according to the Federal Highway Administration. We will be taking a look at each one, and as we do, you will be able to imagine a future when these parts come together, dramatically changing the way we travel. Let's start with the Advanced Traffic Management System. The Advanced Traffic Management System, ATMS, is an integral starting point for the IVHS. This system improves traffic flow and safety by using real-time traffic data collected from cameras and speed sensors. The ATMS redirects traffic away from an accident or traffic jam to reduce the volume of vehicles on that section of the highway. The Advanced Traveler Information System, ATIS, is very similar to the ATMS, but this system pertains to individual vehicles on the highway. ATIS uses wireless technology to inform vehicles of accidents or breakdowns ahead, as well as the individual car's current best route. Commercial vehicle operations is largely centered around geographic positioning systems, GPS, or geographic information systems, GIS. High-risk roadways can be identified and avoided to allow for more on-road driving time and effective fleet management. Advanced public transportation systems, APTS, are being utilized increasingly to eliminate intercity traffic congestion in large metropolitan areas. By utilizing the mass transit system that is already established in their urban areas, and by advancing the ride-sharing mentality, municipalities have begun to cut the amount of traffic and thus reduce the amount of pollution entering the atmosphere every day. Advanced Vehicle Control Systems, AVCS, are integrated into the car's computer system and work to enhance driver performance. AVCS works with onboard sensors and computers to warn and assist drivers and even intervene if necessary. 
using perceptual enhancements as well as automated controls for greater reflexes, more precise than the humans, this system will improve safety for individual drivers as well as for the other vehicles on the road. By making our cars and roads smarter, the benefits that are expected are profound. Studies show that over 90% of accidents are caused by driver error, intoxication, and other human behaviors. Intelligent vehicle highway systems can reduce accidents through improved safety on the highway and by removing some of the human factor. Standardizing a higher speed and decreasing the needed distances between vehicles mean an increase in road use efficiency. More vehicles can safely be on the roadways. Intelligent vehicles will also be able to adjust for conditions like weather and darkness, improving safety for drivers. By improving on-time delivery and reducing accidents at damaged product, commercial trucking should also gain efficiencies. And finally, lower emissions and improved fuel consumption mean less pollution, a global benefit of immeasurable value. Although there is still much to be done, there are some successful improvements in place and noticeable benefits. Automated toll collection and fast pass allow cars to maintain travel speeds, eliminating traffic choke points. GPS technology allows routing choices of quickest, fastest, or no toll routes. Traffic sensors and weather monitoring systems allow for highway condition alerts both on the radio and on roadside signs. Many highways have now incorporated HOV, high occupancy vehicle lanes. High tech cars can park themselves, provide information about cars in blind spots, and automatically brake during unsafe situations. That's brake as in stop, not brake as in breakdown. All of this contributing to accident avoidance. While intelligent vehicle highway systems have many benefits, there are concerns as well. IVHS, while it will create future opportunities, could have an impact on existing jobs that are tied directly to the highways, such as toll booth workers, maintenance workers, and DOT inspectors. Those jobs could be streamlined as real-time information might reduce the need for in-the-field employees. Adding all this technology to vehicles and highways is a great idea, but like many other ideas, the question becomes, are we willing to pay the costs? While liability is a primary concern that can hamper innovation, concerns about privacy, safety, and crime need to be addressed. The court cases and legal filings have already begun. We will have to question, who will have access to the data? How will it be used and how long will it be stored? Will the government use the data to track troublesome citizens? And finally, what damage could this technology do in the hands of criminals and hackers? These concerns will be disputed and discussed for a long time to come. In spite of huge technological strides, there are still pressing social, economic, and legal issues to be resolved. We will see some IVHS advances right away, but the destination? A future where these systems are fully integrated and universally accepted? That is still a long, old-fashioned road away. Are we almost there? That is a question each municipality will have to answer for themselves.